Catalina. Steve, I believe you're muted. We're, and that's what you get for doing live TV via Zoom. <laughs> All right, now, I, am I back now? You are back. You okay, know, one there, of these days, Steve. Well, well, I, I, was getting, right. I was getting all kinds of cues, counting down and coming on and talking to myself. <laughs> with, well, with that illustrious beginning to this virtual six of the city, how are That's you, right. Ms. Fuller? Everything well? Everything's going just fine. All right, just terrific. Fine. Glad, glad to be with you. It's we got a full feet. show this, this, uh, this program, so let's get into who all is going to be with us. We do. Whitney Owen is here. She's with the Jackson Animal Care Center. She's got a fur baby with her. Anita K. Archer is here with the Bank of Jackson. Tiffany Woods with Head Start and Deb Hurd with Hands Up because um, Bank of Jackson is doing their um, Coats for Kids drive and they're having story time with Santa. So we're going to find out more about that. Katie Jarvik is here to talk to us about the Discovery Park Light Show. You really want to hear about that. And then Rita Mack is here because it is time for the Rusty Mack Adopt a Teen and Conrad's Good Deeds event of the year. Mary Spellings is with us because she's with Art in the Village and they're getting ready to have their sidewalk sale. It's coming yeah. up. So you awesome. get an opportunity to get out and, and buy some handcrafted artwork. Okay. Uh, Grace Peoples and Mimi Atkinson are here because they are, and Car Caroline Purcell Minor, because they are all dancers in the Ballet Arts of Jackson's um, Nutcracker performance. Oh, I had right. it written in my I just couldn't get to it. So, um, and then our entertainment for today is Stormy Montana. All right. Well, it's a great show, full show. We're glad to have everybody with us. So stay right where you are. We're right back with this virtual Six in, in the, the city. city. I'm Mark Taylor. I'm the owner of Renew Ball Medical Services based out of here in Jackson, Tennessee. We're a provider of uh, biomedical services for medical professionals. At Renew Biomedical, our use of telecom is of utmost importance. We have to reach our customers in a timely fashion so we can diagnose and service their equipment needs. So e Broadband allows Renew Biomedical to connect effectively with our customers in whichever way they choose, via email, phone, Skype, teleconferencing, in any way you can imagine. Need to check your bill balance? Set a payment extension. Get outage notifications. With JEA, it's easy. Text. When you enroll in JEA Alerts, you open all those possibilities. To enroll, text JOIN, J-O-I-N, to 53248. Text JOIN to 53248. If your cell phone number is current, two-way texting is yours. Real-time communication, direct customer service with JEA Today. Say it and see it with voice control. Find your favorites faster across live, recorded, and streaming TV. Movies, shows, news, sports, music are just a voice command away. Show me action movies. Just for kids. Every result personalized based on viewing habits and time of day. Say it, watch it, it's that easy with the power of voice control. Steve Hours and Cassandra Fuller welcoming you back to Six in the City, and we're going to start with a visit to the Jackson Animal Care Center, and Whitney Owen is with us. We have a special guest. Whitney's good to see you. You do, Steve. All right. Well, Terry, well, tell us about this uh, this this guest that you've got with us today. Well, this is Griffin. Griffin, Griffin is about <laughs> 16 weeks old and exceptionally friendly, as you can see. Um, he came in as a stray, and he will be available for adoption next week. Um, he will be fully vaccinated, spaded, well, his case neutered um and he just loves everybody he's everybody's best buddy he's oh. not a fan of uh the sitting still thing but uh <laughs> it looks like he's doing pretty everybody. good now he gets wiggly and whiny <laughs> yeah, he gets wiggly he's got to be active and be out doing something yeah. yes i want to play i don't want to sit here well he is a puppy so yeah, he's a baby Whitney, how do folks like how do folks like griffin wind up in your custody or care um, we cover all of the domestic animal services for the city. Um, so we have everybody who is abandoned or neglected or found running loose as a stray. Um, if the owner doesn't claim them, they, you know, they stay with us and we fully vet them and then find them homes after that. Um, so it just kind of depends on the situation. Um, just on the unwanted, basically. Okay. All right. Well, Griffin looks cute enough. So if people are interested in adopting Griffin or others, you have cats as well? We do. We have about 60 right now. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, sorry. I asked. <laughs> you want one? I, I, I saying, one or two? That, that set up a lead. That was a leading question. Wasn't it? How many would you like to have? What do people do then to, to adopt a pet? I mean, it's a pretty straightforward process. It's a one page application. We are a municipal facility. So the only reason we would deny an application would be is if we felt that like the pet was not a good fit for that person or if the person posed a danger to the animal. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy. We do same day adoptions. Um, they can just come down to the shelter, fill out an application, meet the ones that we've got available and pick the one that they think will be best for them. Wow. Okay. Now, Whitney, I know you guys are often in need of, of different things. Do you have some needs that you want to talk about today? Right now, what I'm desperately in need of is newspaper. Newspaper. We, okay. Yep. It sounds it sounds silly, but it's what we line all of our isolation cages with. And I go through about five or six bundles a day, and I have about two days worth left. Wow. Okay. So okay. we gather up all of our, our unwanted newspapers and pack them up and take them down to the Animal Care Center. For those people who don't know, Whitney, tell uh, everybody where the Care Center is. We, we we are at 23 Pinnacle Drive, right off of Whitehall. Right off of Whitehall. What's well, yep, we're the very first parking lot on the right. <laughs> Griffin looks like he's ready to go. He's done. He's he's fed up with this TV thing. Yep. <laughs> he's, ready he's ready to go. <laughs> Whitney, other than newspapers, are there other supplies that you trad traditionally look for, routinely look for? Um, heavy duty chew toys for our bigger dogs are always okay. in high demand. And then we do a year round uh, pet food bank for needy owners in the community, um, cat and dog food. We, d we don't want your dog. If you love your dog or your cat and you wanna keep it, you're just having financial difficulty. We will provide um, food to get you over a rough spot so that you're not forced to surrender the pet because of money issues. Um, so all donated pe um, pet food goes directly towards the community. Wendy, the best way to follow what you're doing at the, uh, at the animal care center is what? Um, the easiest way to keep up with this is on Instagram or Facebook. Um, we are the Jackson Animal Care Center on Facebook and um, at Jackson Animal Care Center on Instagram. All right. All right. Good to have you with us. Thank you. And, uh, we, we appreciate the work that is being done there. Once again, this is Jackson Animal Care Center. And so follow them on Facebook. And this is Griffin that you're seeing right here. And it, if anybody is, anybody is interested in adopting Griffin, he'll be uh, available for adoption next week, next week, did you say? Yes, ma'am. The end of next week. End of next week, just give give the Animal Care Center a call and maybe Griffin will, maybe you can bring Griffin home. <laughs> give Griffin a good home. He's so cute. He's got oh, the hiccups now. He, he is, he is, he is. <laughs> Whitney, thanks for being with us. We appreciate thanks so much, you Whitney. very much. You, you're welcome, guys. Have a great day. Thanks All right, you too. We, we appreciate it. When we come back, we're going to talk about coats and, and, and young people and need to care. Archer's going to be with us, Tiffany Woods and Deb Hurd. And that's all coming up as we continue along with Stormy in Montana. All that's coming right. next on this. Six, in, Six the in the city. We Tennesseans all have a choice to make in our fight against COVID-19. I choose to enjoy live music. I choose to cheer on my team. I choose to go out. I choose to stay healthy. I choose to celebrate with my family. The choice is simple. Choose to live your life and choose to live responsibly. Face it, masks fight COVID-19. Doing what's never been done. The American Public Power Association includes over 2,000 local public utility systems. Over 15 years, the APPA has presented RP3 awards, recognizing system reliability, safety, workforce development, and improvement. JA in 2020 not only received the top level diamond RP3 award, it was presented to JA for the seventh time. No utility has been so recognized. Honored public power, another part of JA today. Where is the American spirit? It's right here in the people of West Tennessee. Every day, people walk through these doors to selflessly help others, to give without expecting anything in return. So where is the American spirit? It's right here, in the people of Lifeline, our community's blood bank, where we all come together to help each other, and the American spirit thrives. Ask what you can do for your country. Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller welcoming you back to Six in the City. And we've got a coat drive that is underway. It's already started. It's going right. through December the 9th. And here to tell us all about that, Anita K. Archer with the Bank of Jackson. Tiffany Woods is with us and Deb Hurd. And we welcome you all uh, to Six in the City, especially during this season. Good to have you with us. 
Nita Kay, what are we doing here? We are for the third annual coat drive for kids. But the last two years, they have gone to Washington Douglas Head Start, right. an early Head Start. But this year, we're adding Hands Up Preschool. Okay. So we've got a goal of 250 coats. Oh. Now, that's a lot of coats. All right. But now, I need, to, I need to pay what, what size is coats are we looking for since we've got both... Uh, both we're, hands start and hands oh, up. We're looking for three toddler through 12. And I've, I have need a couple of um, adult ones, but I'm just going to purchase those because we just need two of those. Okay. So mainly if they could be three toddler through 12, size 12. Okay. Uh, and these coats need to be brand new coats or can they be gently used? They could be gently used. Or they could be brand new. They could be dropped off at any Bank of Jackson location. And that would be at our University Parkway, our carriage house, or our oil well location. And also to Hands Up and to Washington Douglas. Hands Up is on Greenfield Drive, 185. And Iceland Street is Washington Douglas. So anytime between now and December 9th, we'd appreciate if you bring them by. But if you can't and have some, I'll be glad to come pick them up, too. Mm -hmm. These children are so adorable and so in need of coats. This cold weather is, will be soon here. So we look forward to everyone bringing those coats. Yes. Uh, you know, if you're out shopping, Pick up a couple of extra ones. Okay. Wouldn't you say, Deb, right. Tiffany? Anita yeah. Kay, I know you guys have been, you said this is your third annual. So is there a certain size that you that you are normally lacking in the donations? I know sometimes you can get, a, you know, maybe you get a ton of 3T, but you don't get some of a size 8. Or is there, right. you I think, know, how's that yes. work out? A 6, 8, and 10, yeah. uh, mainly, the, those which okay. would be uh, the the majority of the children. Uh -huh. Deb and Tiffany can speak to that also. That their sizes. Okay. So sizes six, eight, and ten are the ones you guys would need the most yes. of. Uh -huh. Tiffany, okay. Tell us about Head Start. Who is there? And, and how, who, uh, my name is Tiffany Start? Woods. I'm at Washington Douglas Head Start Early Head Start at 409 Island Street. Um, the Head Start program was designed back in 1965, and we've been rolling ever since. Uh, we service 208 children here at our site, um, and the children have been truly grateful for those coats they've gotten the last two years, and just the publicity and the exposure to other community partners has been greatly appreciated. All right. Deb, tell us about it, uh, the Hands Up Preschool. Hands Up Preschool. Hi, everybody. We, uh, we have students from two and a half all the way to uh, kindergarten. And we are excited that Anita Kay has extended this program to us this year. Um, our students' sizes range anywhere from like two toddler all the way up to 5T. So our children are a little bit smaller. Um, so we don't need those uh, four, six, and eight, and tens, but we do need some toddler size coats. Uh, okay. We all know that at this age, children are constantly growing and they may need a coat, different coat, three times in one season, right? Right. So any coats we can get, we would definitely appreciate. So thank you so much, Anita Kay, for uh, allowing us to be a part of this program this year. We truly appreciate it. Well, Tiffany and Deb, I know we've talked, we're talking about coats because it's coat dry, but what about gloves and scarves and toboggans, hat? You guys yeah. take those too? Yes, yes, all of those things would be great. Okay. Yes, right. thank you. So whatever you can do on that, thank you. Best way to do this is to drop it by any Bank of Jackson location, right in the decay, or you can drop That's it by correct. if you know where they are as far as heads up or, or head start. Mm -hmm. But uh, just get them to the any, Bank of Jackson. Any of those? Are real Anita, can them. you take cash donations and make purchases? Do you want to get into that? I mean, Absolutely. That? Okay. And we've already received some cash donations. Awesome. And okay. I will be purchasing those codes. Okay. Yes. Right. Awesome. So Thank you. To, this will we'll continue until December the 9th. So December go ahead and take care of that and just add that into the Christmas shopping list. That's and, right. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Tiffany, it's and, very good to see you. Appreciate the work that you do. I'm glad to have you with you. us. And the same thing, Deb. It's a real pleasure. All right. Thank you, guys. We wish yes, the best you. in this season to you. And Anita Kay, thanks for doing this. It's been a, thank you, Mr. You hit a home run with this thing, Anita, I think. 
And listen, we love it. But look at those recipients, those kids. Yeah. When you see the smiles on their faces, you know you've done a good job. Oh, that's, that's right. Terrific. Thank that's you so season. much. Thanks to all of you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank Thank you. Good to see everybody. We're going to the Bye -bye. main stage, and we're delighted to welcome her in with us. She's been a guest of ours, well, down through the years. Not that she's very old, and she's not old at all. You know, <laughs> she's been a guest of ours since she was a mere child. And we're glad to have Stormy Montana with us. Stormy, take it away. Thank you so much. You got one hand on the wheel, you got one out the window, and you're making like a wing in the wind. There's a duster flying by, making arrows in the sky, so we know which way we should be going. And my feet are up on the dashboard, and I'm painting my toenails gold. I say, keep your hands to yourself and keep your eyes on the road. Times like this, it all comes together. Times like this, stars line in heaven. You roll a lucky seven and never have to steal a kiss. Not in times like this. trying and there's even less than nine when it comes to traveling this love with you baby we take all back roads all our motels have flamingos when it comes to dinner time it's a two-bit diner and there's nothing finer than lying next to you when you whisper in my ear and it's just as well nobody else can hear Times like this, it all comes together. Times like this, stars line in heaven. You roll a lucky seven and never have to steal a kiss. Not in times like this. No, no. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true Southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. In communities across Tennessee, we feel the effects of opioid addiction. We all know someone touched by addiction. People we see every day. A neighbor, a friend, a family member. Please know there is help and hope. Together we can rise above and make recovery a reality. Neighbors working together. Tennessee, together. If you or someone you love needs help for addiction, help is available. Visit TNTogether.com for more information. I think we lost He went him. away. He's muted. Well, what happened? We're oh, back. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Steve, you're talking I think about something out of control. This one is out of control. <laughs> I know. You got this show out of control. You started it. it, it, it yeah, I'm yeah, going to blame this it, all it, on it, you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm going to say, Katie Jarvis is next on our list. Is that right? Am I right? Yes, I, I, had a, I had a C on mine, so Katie, my apologies for calling you yeah. Katie Jarvis. So. We're going all the way to the Discovery Park, and we are getting ready for, for the Christmas season. Katie, how are you doing? 
I'm doing well, thank you. Do y'all like my little Christmas de decor? Oh, yeah, look at we this. like your props. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, very, very, very. <laughs> so we got a light display. We heard about it last time we, we visited Discovery Park. Like 1.2 million lights or something like that were being put together. How's it coming along? Yeah, it's coming along. This is the week that um, the grand opening week. It's this Friday, okay. uh, November 13th is when we are opening our Let It Glow light show. And it'll be open through the holiday season through December 30th. And it is perfect for social distancing. You stay in your car. You can buy your tickets online for $10. Or you can buy them at the gate. And you'll just drive through over a million lights that are synced to your favorite holiday tune. Okay. Oh, wow. And the, the show, it's it's seven days a week, right? Yes, it's open seven days a week from five to nine. So what I like to tell people is they plan to come to Discovery Park of America during the day. We close at four now. Um, so they can kind, kind of hang out and shop in our gift shop for unique items, get some hot chocolate from Savings Cafe. And then at five o'clock, hop in the car, get in line and start okay. traveling through the Christmas okay. lights. Okay. All right. Well, that's actually... Well, so this, this will continue how long, Katie? Sure, it's going to be um, open through December 30th. It's going to okay. be closed on Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day. Okay, okay. But it'll be open um, throughout the whole holiday season. All, all the way till December the 30th. All right, get, get, getting ready to go. Now, what's happening at, at Discovery Park? What else is going on there? Yeah, so, um, you know, of course, our museum and heritage park are open. We're closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays during the week. Still, the okay. park will be closed. But um, you can still come to the light show starting next week. Um, and then we've got some exciting news. It's going to be my favorite Christmas present this year. Um, we're opening a brand new permanent agriculture exhibit called Agriculture Innovating for Our Survival. And so that opens December 5th, and it talks about the innovation in farming today. So it'll hit on the, the past, present, and especially the future innovations in farming. So um, last year was my first time ever being in a in a tractor, and the guy who I <laughs> I'm from the city originally I'm from Memphis, so I've never been in a tractor, and so I just kind of thought you know I just go to Kroger or Walmart and get my food, but you know there's all there's this whole process if these farmers grow the different crops and then they have to gather it and clean it or you know shuck the corn or whatever. So, but um, this agriculture exhibit is gonna talk about the technology that's used today. So when I was in the tractor last year, the farmer just typed on, in something on his iPad and the tractor drove itself. I mean, <laughs> it blows my mind. And then they're talking about, you know, they're using drones these days. Um, and it's just gonna be an, an impressive, impressive exhibit. And if you've been to Discovery Park, we all call it the Big Red Barn, but it's the Simmons Bank Ag Center. Um, that used to have all the antique farm equipment and tractors. Well, that has been cleaned out, and they are there right now putting up this entire exhibit to open to the public on December 5th. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, wow. That's going to be interesting to see you comparing the past, present, and the future of farming, because there's been a lot of technological changes. Yeah, hey, I pulled up. Uh, our I pulled grandparents. Cotton. I had a great uncle that needed some help, but I I, uh, I, wonder, I was one of his great nephews. I pulled cotton for them one year, uh, just during cotton peak. We yeah. took, it to a, took it to a wagon, you know, sacked, dumped it in. And they pulled the wagon to the gin with mule. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I mean, there's, that's how, there's your past. That's how, much, right? how much things have changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I'm really excited about that. But really, our Let It Glow light show, I mean, after this crazy year that we've had, yeah. you know, I think people are looking for something to get in the holiday spirit. And so we're excited to open the, the Christmas Let It Glow Light Show this Friday. Um, again, it's open uh, from five to nine, $10 a car. You can buy them online. Um, and then also we've got something else happening as well. It's called Twas the Night Before Christmas at Discovery Park. And that's a new event. Um, we had to replace our Polar Express just because of COVID restrictions. Okay. Right. So this is in place of that. And it's also the same concept. You're gonna drive through, except, except it's gonna be during the day. Okay. Um, on December 22nd, and some of our education team has rewritten the Twas the Night Before Christmas song, or, you know, poem oh. or story um, to relay it to things related to Discovery Park. So that's oh. going to be fun as well. And that's, is that just a one-day event, you said, that's on the 22nd? Uh, yeah, oh, that's just a one-day event, Twas okay. the Night Before Christmas at Discovery Park. But again, the Let It Glow Light Show, if you want to drive through 12 times, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So Discovery we're, Park. We're Let's see, discoveryparkofamerica.com. Is that right? Is it dot com? Discoveryparkofamerica.com. You can get tickets in advance if you'd like and uh, keep up with the schedule and everything else. 
Well, I hope you have a blessed holiday season, Katie. It's a real pleasure to be working with you. It is. Thank it's a you. pleasure. Absolutely. Good to look, see you. Come visit look, us. Look, look yeah, forward we, to seeing the Let It Glow light show. That's going to be fun. We'd yeah. like to see a tree you can button down, and you've done it well. Really? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> we are going back to the main stage. We welcome once again Stormy Montana. <laughs> With E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere, you can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Want to receive account information via text? When you enroll in JA Alerts, you can. Text to get a bill bounce, due date, set a payment extension, receive an outage notification, reply to report an electric outage. Text JOIN, J-O-I-N, text JOIN to 53248-53248. Cell phone number must be current and attached to your JA account. Visit jacksenergy.com slash text alert for more information. Here at the Emergency Operations Center, we rely on E-Plus Broadband Fiber Network to better serve Madison County. With high-speed internet, we track storms and natural disasters in real time. Also, fiber internet gives us the speed to host training classes preparing responders from all over the county and state. 
The phone system allows us flexibility to stay in contact and make conference calls with both in and out of the office with local, state, and federal agencies. Connectivity is an important part of emergency management. Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller welcome you back to Six in the City. Rita Mack is with us. We're going to talk about the Rusty Mack Adopt a Team program. Rita, how are you? Hey, I'm doing great. How are you? We're doing well. It's so good to have you with us. I can't I, believe I, it's I, time to, to talk about this again, Rita. Yeah, it, it, I know. It, Seems like yesterday. I know. Well, it, do I understand that we have 424 teams this year? Is that right? That is correct. Wow. 424 is what we start with. As you know, we always add more as time goes by, but that's that's our goal right now. Is this the largest number we've had? No, it's not. Uh, it's actually down a little bit from last year, last but year, okay. with, um, as you know, the COVID, COVID? situation, okay, a that. lot of times the child abuse situations aren't being reported no. um, as they normally would be because children are in school. Uh, where the teachers can can see those kinds yeah. of things. So we, we've I, got you know, Governor Lee, I think, from the earliest days of that, said that, that it was disturbing because he saw those stats going down. He said, I don't think child abuse is going down. No, I, I don't think so either. Situations where they're just not known. Right. right. Rita, how does the Adopt-A-Teen program work for those who don't know? Yeah, for those that don't know, the Adopt-A-Teen program uh, buys Christmas presents for the teenagers that are served by the Exchange Club Carl Perkins Center for the Prevention of Child Abuse. Uh, Rusty Max started this back in 1997. He had a son that died uh, shortly after birth and the year that his son would have been 13, he decided since he couldn't do anything for him, he wanted to do something for another teenager. And so he uh, was already connected with the center and he called and asked, you know, is there a teenage boy uh, around 13 that I could buy Christmas for? And of course there was, and that's how it started, and it's grown ever since. Okay. How long did you and Conrad work this together? Uh, we were we started working together on it in 2004. Oh, wow. And of course, Conrad's been gone. This is the second year without him. Oh, so it's been a labor of love. It, it takes a hundred dollars per child, and 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 the, the money goes into purchasing gifts that have been specified. This is work through social workers. We want people to know. Right. Yes. The social and Rita, when we, I'm sorry, when we say teenagers, we're talking uh, 13 to, do we go all the way up to 19? If, if there's a need, we do. Yes. As long as they're served by the center in some way. And a lot of times it's the entire family that's oh, yeah. involved. If, if there's one child that may have been in that situation, the whole family may be involved in counseling and things like that. Uh, so it just depends on the need. If there's a need, we'll go all the way up to 19. Best way to make a contribution to this is how, Rita? Um, easy peasy. You go online to carlperkinscenter.org and you can make a donation there. Just choose that general fund and put adopt a teen in the note and they'll get it there. Uh, you could mail in a check if you still use checks uh, to 213 Cheyenne Drive, <laughs> Jackson 38305. Or you can call it in at 668-4000 and you can pay over the phone with a debit card or credit card. Um, my favorite is if you see me out, um, hand it to me, I'll get it down there. I promise <laughs> do that a lot. Of course, we're not out as much as we That's were right. here. That's so right. may not be able to see folks like usual, but I, I hope to see a few people out and about around this Christmas season. And Rita, it doesn't have to be necessarily a one person, hundred dollar donation. You can get a, get a group of five girlfriends together or your Sunday school class or you know, just a, a group together as long as, you know, it's, it's a hundred dollars per team, right? Absolutely. Yes. We have a lot of places that do an entire um, group of teens because they want to just gather all the money they can and put that together. So we have Sunday school classes, work groups, things like that, church groups, office, many, many, many office groups that do it. So yes, absolutely. That is a good way to do it. If you can't do one by yourself, gather some friends together. You don't even have to be friends, just people you know. <laughs> <laughs> people you know that are willing to give you some money, right? right? Give you some money. As I say, I'll take it any way I can get. Now, what are the Conrad's Good Deeds? Conrad's Good Deeds, of course, was born out of Conrad's vision that we should not only take care of these teenagers at Christmas time, but all year long. So what we've done with Conrad's Good Deeds, anything that comes in over and above what we need for the teenagers for Christmas goes into this fund. 
And what we do with that is we buy things throughout the year, specifically school related. Um, we try to, to keep it within that realm of uh, uniforms. We have a lot of requests for sh uh, shoes, even you know things like socks and underwear that, that children don't have to have uh, for school. So that any extracurricular activities, a lot of times uh, kids can't participate in some of these sports and, and other types of things because they don't have the money to buy the equipment. So that's another thing that we try to, to do with these funds that Conrad did these, and we think he would be really happy that we were able to do that. I'm sure he'd be smiling down. Yeah. yeah. Call PerkinsCenter.org, 314 Cheyenne Drive, 3305, or see Rita. Or 668-4000. Yes. 668-4000, Rita, so good to see you. Appreciate it the is. effort very much. Best in the season. Good to see, see you, Rita. Rita. We're going to be right back. We'll be talking some art with Mary Spelling. Stormy Montana will be with us as we continue. Six in the, in the city. city. Thank you. Thank you. As we all take care and precautions, practicing social distancing with more time at home, we may find ourselves using more broadband too, relying on internet, television, and telephone services to stay connected to work, school, and family. JA is working hard to keep our customers, employees, and families safe while bringing vital services during this time, keeping you connected to the essential broadband services Jackson's homes and businesses depend on is one thing you can count on at JEA Today. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Jules, spot on this last one. Uh, there it is. Keep going with it. Leo! They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Welcome back to Six in the City. Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller with you, and we welcome Mary Spellings. It is her birthday today, so when you see her, tell her happy birthday. Yay! You know, and we'll try to help you that way you can pretend that you remembered on your own. <laughs> Thank you very much, Steve. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Good to have you with us. Well, Mary Spellings, among many things, her life force is an artist, and she, she is the main force behind Arts in the Village. There are many other artists that are showcased there. We have a special art show that is coming up this weekend, the 13th and 14th, Friday and Saturday at the Casey Jones Village. So tell us about it, Mary. What are we going to see? Well, you know, we have uh, we opened our doors in October of 2009. So we have just celebrated our 11th anniversary at Art in the Village. And uh, rather than do an in-house party, we decided to do an open it up to everybody party. So we've invited our artists to come and bring extra work and put out on the sidewalk and demonstrate if they choose and just kind of be around and hang out and show their wares. And we're hoping that folks will come out and see us. You know, we've, we're the, the, we have 29 or 30 artists I'd have to count to see, but right in that neighborhood, that's a lot of artists work in one spot, Steve. And it's, it's really, there's some really great gift items, some very affordable things. And so we just wanted to celebrate. So we're having the, we're having a sidewalk, like a pop-up shop. And also uh, we're offering a special deal. Any purchase in the gallery over $100 will be 20% off this Friday and Saturday only. So we hope people are gonna come out and visit with the artist. And um, if somebody has a special uh, project in mind, there'll be artists there that they can talk to about bringing that to pass. Okay. So Mary, is this a, is this a, do we need to get tickets? Is this a free event? Is It's a totally free event, Cassandra. Nice. All it's going to cost you is if you buy something, and we hope that you will. Well, because, and, you know, uh, 
Well, <laughs> probably would be a good idea with Christmas coming up. You can get some unique Christmas gift items because I'm sure you guys have more than just paintings or sculptures, right? We do. We've got some really unique items that I think people would enjoy having for gifts and some very personal things. And so, yes, we do want you to come out and enjoy, you know, in, just enjoy the interaction with the artist and see if there's not something there, some little item that makes your heart sing. You know, we've all been through a lot of stuff in the last six or seven months with all this virus and being trapped indoors and you know, so get something for yourself that makes you happy. Right. Or with get it, something that will make someone you love happy. That's right. Who doesn't love getting a, a unique piece of, of uh, art that's hand created? Exactly. Exactly. That's what we're hoping for. What different type of artists do you have there? <clears throat> um, Steve, we've got variety. So we've got um, painters that work in all kinds of different styles. Uh, something I think everybody would appreciate. We've got photographers, we've got jewelry artists, we've got potters, and we have some people who do like knitted work and crocheted work, needlework, fiber work. Um, and we've got some 3D pieces. So we've got we've got some very interesting things. We got a little bit of everything for, for anybody. Oh, we're talking about Art in the Village. Art in the Village is located in the Casey Jones Village. It is open year round, but the special, the special show is coming up this Friday and Saturday, the 13th and 14th. What are the hours, Mary, that you'll be there? Nine to five. Nine, Nine to five. five. That's pretty easy to remember. <coughs> yep. And we'll be excited to see everybody. Okay. Let's go. You are open year round, right? Yes. So, what are the hours usually if people want to stop by and see? <coughs> I apologize. No. <clears throat> we're open nine to five <clears throat> Wednesday through Saturday sometimes on Tuesdays also okay so Wednesday through Saturday anytime. If you can make it this weekend be sure to be a special time to visit these artists but if you're out in the village during the holidays or whatever or Christmas Eve or why not they have the big breakfast out there be sure to visit art art in the village Mary it's very good it's to fun. see you happy birthday it is oh, thank good you to so see much. you I hope you have a I good birthday today thank you so much I appreciate it yeah, I appreciate y'all letting me come on and hope to see you. All right. Yep, we'll hope look to see you this week. That will be Friday and Saturday this weekend, the 13th and 14th. 13th and the 14th from 9 to 5. Yep. We're going back to the main stage. We welcome once again Stormy Montana. If we can't get along, we ought to be apart. Tired of being a villain of the piece. Oh, you've been giving me bad times. Tell me what did I do? How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? Saying things that you didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? Only get one life, and this I know. I gotta get my licks in now before I go. The fire of love is dead and cold. I gotta satisfy the hunger in my soul. You've been giving me bad times. Tell me what did I do? How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? Saying things that you didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? Wondering where'd you get that cold, cold heart? 
set me free, sign my release. I'm tired of being a villain of the piece. Well, you've been giving me bad times. Tell me what did I do? How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? You didn't have to. How come I always get a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? How come you give me such a hard time, honey, when it comes to you? The SOAR Award, System Operational Achievement Recognition, presented by the American Public Gas Association, recognizes forward-thinking natural gas utilities that continually improve operation capabilities, adapt to challenges, and the changing demands of safe, reliable natural gas distribution. In 2019, the APGA Gold SOAR Award was presented to the Natural Gas Division of JEA. System integrity, forward-thinking innovation, all a real part of JEA today. At Southern Family Dentistry, we offer dental treatment for your entire family. We have the latest 3D digital x-ray system. We offer implants, veneers, teeth whitening, and all the other normal services you receive at the dental office. We have two offices, one in Milan and one in Jackson, and e broadband telephone services allows us to connect both of those offices. It doesn't matter which office the patient calls, we have the ability to speak to that patient at either location. Experience something new with View It Video On Demand. Now you can preview and rent movies with your remote. Press the TiVo button to go to the home screen. Select View It On Demand to get started. Browse new movie releases and events. Select what you want to watch, then rent. There's even free stuff. You'll find karaoke songs, fun screensaver for your TV, videos for the kids, and more. Experience more with TiVo and View It Video On Demand. Six in the, welcome back to Six in the City, and we, we're going to add some seasonal beauty to our show. Well, we are. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's so, I'm sure they feel much more uh, comfortable in the setting they're in now versus being in costume and being on the show. So, yeah, that, 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 <laughs> we're going to welcome Grace kidding. Peoples with us, Grace Peoples and Mimi Atkinson, and they are two of the performers in this year's Nutcracker. And we're excited to say that it is coming back. It is the longest running performance of the Nutcracker every season. It has been longer than any other in the state of Tennessee. Ballet Arts of Jackson makes that possible. And thanks to many of you that have supported this effort down through the years, either as contributors to the program or supporters and, and those that have attended this, this show. And so Grace and Mimi, it's good, good to have you with us. What roles are you playing in, in this production this year? I am a new duet and I am in Walt. Hi. I'm also a and I'm a and I'm a Okay. These performances are going to be expanded this year because the, there's going to be some restriction as far as seating, I understand. And then so smaller audience potential. And then uh and then we will have uh we'll have more performances. They will start December the eleventh. They'll be the eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth. What are the hours of the performances? So 7 Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. on Saturday, and then 2 o'clock Sunday, we'll wrap this up, right? Okay. okay. Tickets, are they on sale now? Yes, they are. Okay. Ballyartsjackson.org. Okay, ballyartsjackson.org, all right. So, so we're looking forward to it. The uh, Nutcracker will start December the 11th, the 11th, 12th, and 13th. Uh, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're really glad that it, that it is uh, that it is it, it is coming back. How long have, have you been performing? How long have you two been performing? Well, I'm sitting here with Ballet Art, and I've been dancing. Yeah. What got you started? Um, my parents wanted ballet lessons. 
We're going to have to get you to speak up a little more, girls, because it's kind of hard to hear you. So you, you might have to appear as if you're yelling at us. So, <laughs> <laughs> But if you can speak up just a little bit, we can. You'll be right home. Fully yells at me all the time, girls. So I don't know. worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> so you got started through through your, your parents and others. Of course, big change uh, with the uh, with the ballet arts. But but uh, Carolyn uh, Purcell Minard is, is, is taking this on and doing great work. And so we're just thrilled that it's coming back. There had been real concern, I think early in the season that you might not, not be able to do it. So rehearsal started when? Rehearsal started in September. Wow. Started in September, wow. That's a, that's a long time to be rehearsing, but it's a big play. Now, do you guys have um, one part in it or do you have multiple parts and costume changes? We have multiple parts and, and quick changes. Okay, all right. We are really looking forward to this and just so thrilled that, that it's coming back. Balletartsjackson.org, right? Is it dot .org? Yes, sir. Balletartsjackson.org is the way to get tickets. So be sure to spread the word that the Nutcracker is going to be back at the Call Perkins Civic Center. That's right. It's a holiday tradition. You just yeah, you can't not right. go to the Nutcracker. <laughs> December the 11th and 12th, those performances are at 7 o'clock. Then there'll be a 10 o'clock performance Saturday morning and then a 2 o'clock matinee Sunday afternoon. So get those tickets accordingly at balletartsjackson.org. And this is uh, Grace Peoples and Mimi Atkinson. Grace and Mimi, we're glad to have you with us and wish you the continued best and, and good luck during the season. We're glad you're on stage with the Nutcracker. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to be right back with more as we continue Six in the Six City. In the city. Tired of internet that leaves you waiting and monitoring your usage with extra fees? Switch to E-Plus Broadband from the Jackson Energy Authority for fiber optic internet with the fastest speeds to keep everyone connected. Enjoy being online as much as you want without worrying about extra fees or data usage limits. Perfect for when you need to download and upload large files, stream videos, or use your favorite video conferencing app. E-Plus Broadband, fastest internet, no data caps, no slowdowns, no worries. Our fight against coronavirus isn't over. We still have to slow the spread and do our part. Let's wear face masks in public. Stay six feet or more from others. Follow state and local guidelines. Wash our hands frequently and stay home when we feel safe. For ourselves, for our loved ones, for our future. Let's move forward together. Learn more at coronavirus.gov. Europe. Welcome back to Six in the City. Thanks to all of our guests. We're entering a very special time of year. We'll have a lot of activities that are that are holiday related. And we appreciate uh, this launch and, and, and all that. One thing that you wanted to add, Cassandra, was the, uh, the that's the, right. The we were talking. The Nutcracker, there's a, there's right. another event coming up. Right. We were talking with the late with the ladies from um, the Nutcracker performance, and I uh, wanted to mention that Ballet Arts Jackson is having a Nutcracker gala. There's a feast, live entertainment, specialty suites, and personalized gifts. You can uh, get a table of eight for $1,000 or $125 for an individual ticket. It's coming up December the 3rd. It's from 5.30 to midnight at the barn at Snyder Farm. Okay. Catering is going to be done by TL Catering, and they're going to have live music by the Claude Hines Band. So you can purchase your tickets at balletarts.org. Okay. So sliding back into the to the gala season. It's good to see That's it coming. Right. So we're going to see how things go. Symphony is back in concert Saturday night, this coming Saturday night, the 14th, at 6 and at 8 at First Baptist Church, one of the premier organists in, in, in the world. From the Juilliard, right. Grace and Juilliard School of Music is going to be there. There will also That's be right. a chamber concert there at First Baptist Saturday afternoon, at, I mean Sunday afternoon at 1.30. So check the symphony for details on that, 4276440 or thejacksonsymphony.org. And one of the things we'll be kicking off this weekend, the uh, Salvation Army Red Kettle Campaign. Oh, that's right. going to have its official kickoff Saturday morning, and that will be at 10. 
and that's going to be at the farmer's market at the AMP, at the farmer's at the market. Okay. So I know those, those things are, are coming up. Well, what else is on your list? Well, Steve, with the uh, uh, tomorrow being Veterans Day, as you're watching the show today on the 10th, I wanted to mention that the, um, you, if, if you get an opportunity to get down to City Hall during the regular business hours, you need to check out the Faces of Our Veterans exhibit. It's on display uh, and will be there until November the 23rd. It's a, a, a great display of uh, photos of our veterans that are around from, I believe they're all from Madison County and, and around this area. So okay. it's a free exhibit. You just walk into City Hall during their normal business hours and, and it's there. And then also too, I wanted to mention something fun and it's free. It's at the library. It's at the main, I believe at the main library downtown. It's the 100 Grand Library Heist Escape Room. Okay. Um, you get five players and you have an hour to find the stash of money and you have to disable the cameras with all these clues and hints and then you have to escape without getting caught. Oh. So oh. It, is a, it is an escape room. Uh, the dates are uh, November 13th and 14th. You call the library at 425-8600 to, um, to make reservations. And like I said, it's a free event. So if you've ever wanted to try out an escape room, here's your opportunity. I didn't do that. We're glad to have Stormy Montana with us. Stormy, the best way to get some of your music is how? Look online. Look online. Everything <laughs> is online these days. True to form. True Are you, to form. you got a website? We go to stormymontana.com or something? Or Yes, I have not updated it in a little while. I need to okay. get on that, updating that. But Facebook and okay, Facebook. social media is usually the best way to get a hold of me and to track me down. I'm, All right, I'm very easy good. to hunt down there. <laughs> well, it's, been a, it's been a real thrill to, ha to have you with us and uh, Stormy Montana, a writer and your music and everything else. So Stormy, we, we're pleased to have you with us. We're going to clear yes, out of the way and let, let her close out the show. Good Lord willing, we'll see you back next week for more That's Six right. in the City. And this is Stormy Montana. Thank y'all so much for having Thank you. Thanks, Stormy. and screaming i'll go out the same way believe me life's too little gotta never let it get you down i'm dancing to my own beat me and my two left feet don't care who's watching me just having fun 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 i ain't here for a long time i'm just here for a good time i'm gonna have me enough couple lifetimes I'm making up my own songs living by the good rule I'm walking on a fine line looking for a cool new tune I'm living every minute soaking up the sunshine I ain't here for a long time just here for a good Do it all again. Sun's gonna fall. Gotta get the ball rolling right now. Oh, I'm gonna live my life away. A little more every day. Living every minute, soaking up the sunshine, breaking up the good wine. I ain't here for a long time. Just here for a good time. I'm gonna have me enough fun. The last least couple lifetimes. I'm living every minute, soaking up the sunshine.